Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. If you're looking for something a bit warmer after what has been a rather dismal and cool week, well, you're in luck. Yes, the overall trend through into next week particularly is for temperatures to be on the rise. However, let's be clear about this. Although we're talking about warmer weather, I am not talking about hot and sunny weather and it's not necessarily even going to be dry everywhere. There will still be showers around through into next week. It should be sunnier, but that is not too tricky given how much cloud and how much rain we have seen over recent days. Why has it been so wet? Well, if we take a look at the big picture, we can see why quite clearly. This is the jet stream and this pattern we call an omega block. Why? Well, omega, because it looks like the Greek letter omega as the jet stream goes north and then south again and curls round. Block, because when the jet stream sets up in this kind of pattern, it doesn't tend to shift. The weather remains kind of stagnant, which is good news if you're after dry weather and you're in this zone, i.e. across Iceland, but not good news if you're after dry weather in this zone, because this trough, this curl in the jet stream, is a breeding area for low pressure systems and this area of low pressure has been dominating our weather this week, bringing the cool, the cloudy and the wet conditions. And it's not shifting anywhere. The weather's blocked, so it's not moving too far. The next couple of days promise further heavy rain. There are warnings in force. For the latest on those warnings, visit the Met Office website or download our app. But Thursday, as you can see, a lot of cloud, further outbreaks of rain for most places and still temperatures well, disappointing to say the least for June, mid to high teens at the very best. Now, we are starting to see a bit of a slow change, a subtle change through Friday and the weekend. The low is still in charge. We've still got that blocking pattern, so it's not moving too far, but instead of sitting right across us, it's sitting more to the west through Friday and into the weekend. The winds go around an area of low pressure like this. So these are the winds at the surface coming in from the southwest that means that eastern areas at least that have seen a lot of heavy rain this week will be a bit drier through Friday, Saturday and Sunday. With low pressure nearby, there will still be showers. I think most places will see some heavy downpours this weekend, but it will be more showery in nature and there should be a bit more sunshine in between the showers. And as a result, although temperatures will still probably be around or below average, it will be feeling a bit warmer than it has done. So a subtle shift in the low pressure, but nevertheless, it's still low pressure in control through the weekend and early next week. So it's more showers to come on Monday as well. But we are starting to see a bit more of a shift, perhaps as we go into the middle part of next week. Again, let's take a look at the bigger picture for early next week. And we've still got, if we look at the jet stream, we've still got that omega block. You can see that omega pattern. It's not as definitive, but it is still there. So the weather patterns are only shifting slowly still as we go into next week. But compare that with the omega block that we have at the moment, which is stronger. And we're right in this little trough, right in this little dip. Next week, well, that little dip is further west, so the low pressure systems are more likely to be further west, not directly overhead. Why is that important? Well, that subtle shift, we call it a, a retrogression as everything moves its way westwards, could allow some warmer air to arrive. Because summer at the moment is across Eastern Europe, hot conditions here, but as everything moves that way, we could just start to waft up some warmer air towards the UK. And that's what some of the computer models are suggesting for the middle part of next week. The warmer plume just heading its way up closer to the UK through especially Wednesday. But before all you warm sunshine lovers get too excited, yes, temperatures may well be rising. But if we put the pressure pattern on as well, you can see that still it's low pressure dominating things, which means the air will be rising, which means there could well be some showers around too. So as I said at the start, I'm not talking about hot, sunny weather, just talking about a rise in the temperatures. And uh, these graphs show that quite nicely. This is what we call a meteogram showing the trends into next week. There's the date along the bottom. This one is for Southampton. You can see that temperature trend I've been talking about. It's chilly at the moment. Temperatures, these red blobs below the average line here for the next few days, slowly rising, but interesting, st interestingly, probably still below average over the weekend. 
but then a trend as those temperatures start to rise through the middle part of next week. The bigger the blob, the greater the uncertainty. So uncertainty does increase, but there's a trend there that we're likely to see temperatures rising. But also notice these green blobs, that's the precipitation. Are we going to see any rain? And uh, well, there's a strong signal that there's a continued risk of seeing wet weather into next week, even though temperatures are rising. This is for Southampton. Show you the same graphs for Edinburgh and you can see the same trend. Chilly, particularly chilly on Thursday, but a rise in the temperatures here as well. So it's likely to get a bit warmer next week, but still far from dry everywhere. So yes, signs are something a bit warmer, probably temperatures back up above average at some point next week. Drier, but that's not tricky. It has been a very wet week, but not completely dry and probably a bit more, at least in the way of blue sky around, but I'm not promising hot and sunny weather far from it. As I said, there's a lot going on and please keep up to date in the shorter term with all those weather warnings by downloading the app, by uh, visiting our website or by following us on social media.